Is this you and your bra strap slides down your shoulder at the most inconvenient time? Well, it's me all the time and it drove me nuts. And I hate that incognito, you know, trying to pull it up like nobody can notice what you're doing. It was always at the worst time. And so it sent me on a quest to find a solution and I did. And I'm so excited to share this one with you. This video is for the girls. So whether you sew or you do not sew, please join me because I'm going to show you how to solve this problem today. All right, ladies, thanks for stopping by. This one's for the girls, but gents, you're welcome to join if you'd like to make this for your mother. So that being said, my name is Dawn, the Streamline Seamstress. Thanks for stopping by. I welcome you to joining my channel. I was a pattern maker and a designer. For many years, I owned a sewing factory where we sold and manufactured swimwear and activewear worldwide. Everything about this channel is my sharing knowledge with you and teaching you hacks that will save you time, money, and energy. And if you're down for that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. That'll let you know when I post a new video. I'm so excited to share this with you because never, ever, 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 ever again am I going to have to pull up my bra strap because everything stays nice and tight and in place and it even offers a little lift. So <laughs> we're going to get right into it. I'm going to show you how to whip this up if you sew just like that. And if you do not sew, I have these available for sale in many colors on my website, thestreamlineseamstress.com as well as my Etsy store. All right, let's get right into it. I'm gonna show you how this works on. I'm gonna model it for you, and I'm gonna show you how to make it as well. Okay, so for our project today, our little magic device that's gonna change our lives, we these are the tools that we're gonna need and the items that we're gonna to use today. And first and foremost is the ribbon elastic that we're going to use. And you can see all the different colors that comes in. There's a link below. You can get that online at Amazon. And I made this beautiful one out of yellow. And then we add a little plastic, metal coated plastic hook. And I had these from the swimsuit factory. And um, so I just repurposed them, but then I found them online where you can purchase them online. They're G hooks. And so they're just plastic hooks. These are nice and flat and thin, and then they've been coated with a metal coating. So that makes them nice and soft up against your skin. They're not bulky or thick. You're also going to need a stretch knit needle, which is an imperative part of this. You could use a Jersey ballpoint, but you're going to get a better result from a stretch knit needle. And this is size 75, 11, uh, or, or an 11 uh, size for your machine. So keep that in mind. And the brand, this brand is pretty universal. Schmitz, I'll put a link below for them. They fit most machines, but always double check your machine to see if the brand that you're buying works with the machine that you have and you're going to need a good pair of shares you're going to need a cup of coffee right we need coffee when we're sewing and then this little baby and you're going to learn what this is for this is the magic the secret to making this um, security strap for your brassiere and i'm going to get right into it i just wanted to review everything that you're going to need and all right let's do it let's put it together so the first part of this i've cut this for anyone from a bra size of 32 to 40 I've cut it 14 inches. If you're a bra size above a 40, I would cut it 15 inches. And then we're going to use the flame just to melt the end. I do not want to catch it on fire. I want to be very careful just to carterize the end. And you're going to know that you've successfully done this when it becomes firm to the touch. When you go to touch it and it's not fraying and you can feel the plastic that was created, the, the plastic edge that was created by cauterizing it. And again, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And just a little heat, and you can actually see that melting if the camera can zoom in. And I'm going to let it cool for a second before I touch it. I've already burned myself once this week. Not fun. Fantastic. And then, so it's that simple. That took all of, what, 30 seconds? And then we are going to take this. I'm going to keep the satin side of this beautiful ribbon on the outside. We're going to take this and we are going to just pin that to sew it in about, I'm going to say, uh, 
probably about three quarters of an inch. I'm using ballpoint pins, which I think is very important. That's the type of pin that you would want to use with stretch fabrics. I want to finish this at 12 inches. And so I can give myself a few slots here so that if this becomes a little stretched out, I've got the option to back it up to a tighter slot. So maybe I want to sew in a slot right about there. So I have two pockets that I could put the hook through. You could also do three pockets if you wanted to. But today we're just going to do two right at the halfway point. And now I'm going to take this to the machine and we're going to sew it. And this is going to be the fastest video we ever made. We're at the sewing machine and I am ready to whip this up. I have everything I have my uh, stretch needle in and I have pinned everything with ballpoint pins. Ballpoint pins are fabulous because they don't pierce the fabric. They literally push the fabric to the side and just slide right in. And this is great when you're working with a Lycra, a spandex, um, in this case, this ribbon elastic. I'm going to start with my needle down. I'm going to reinforce the seam and this is at 5 eighths of an inch and a back tack and I'm being very careful not to sew over the edge of that ribbon because it will cause that ribbon to pinch. Pull away and trim and now we're going to do the other side. And again, I've got everything pinned in place. I've got two pockets that are created with a seam down the center and the closing seam is at one and a half inches and that pin down the center is at three quarters of an inch. So I'm first going to remove that pin down the center so it doesn't interfere with my needle. And I'm going to do a straight stitch back and forth, being careful not to sew over the edge of the elastic. And now I'm going to sew to close. Again, I want to be very careful. I'm going to start with my needle down. I'm going to pull that pin out so just the tip of it is in place. So it's holding the elastic in place but not interfering with my needle. Reinforcement back and forth. And now I'm going to pull away and trim. And voila, that's how easy it is to make this. And you should make several for yourself, for your mother, for your sister, your friends. I'm telling you, this is a game changer and you will love it once you make one for yourself. And the key here is the soft ribbon elastic is so comfortable. The metal coated plastic hook is thin, it's not bulky, making this very comfortable. And there you have one slot and then if it stretches out on you a little bit, you have the second slot so that you can adjust it if needed, if you lose or gain a little weight or if the elastic just stretches out on you. Make sure that you carterize the ends of the ribbon elastic first because that's essential. It will keep it from fraying when worn and when used. And also make sure you use that stretch knit needle. It'll make your sewing problem free. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to model this for you on now. So I'm going to show you just how simple this is to put on yourself, which was a critical point for me when I was designing it because I used to have these straps that I used when I ran and my husband would have to help me put them on and take them off and if I tried to do it myself, it was like a slingshot and it would just come back and bite me and I was like, no, I want something I can put on myself, right? We're big girls, we wanna dress ourselves. So as you can see, I put it through each of my bra shoulder straps and then I've got a hook on this side and then all I'm gonna do is just go behind the neck and I should be able to hook that rather easily, right? It's hooked. And you can see it's in place and then all I have to do is just move it down if you're wearing something high back or low back or even like a tank all I need to do is just push it down and then you can't see it on and it just works really well 
and it's going to keep my straps in place all day. Yay! Air 5 high five. If you'd like one of these, you can get it at the streamlineseamstress.com. And if you want to make one yourself, all the tools are listed in the description below. You can find them easily and make your own. And I recommend making several because once you start using this strap and you see the difference it makes, not just in keeping your straps from falling down, but it also gives a little lift, which is a good thing, right? <laughs> Um, you're gonna love it. So everyone, thanks for tuning in today and watching this video. I appreciate all of you more than words can say. God bless, be well, and keep sewing. It's good for the soul. Bye now.